Let's take a look at a quick demo within Windchill showcasing some elements of Windchill projects and how they can help you bring suppliers in and collaborate. Here we're starting off right inside a Windchill project. In this screen, we can look through the details of the project like name, description, phase, status, among several other attributes that are configurable and can be unique to the business. This is a page where you come get important information from in the context of supplier collaboration. Information like which supplier the project is with, what is the purpose of this project, where is the supplier site located, and other attributes that help define the project. Now, let's navigate over to a product in Windchill to show how we share data to a project that will be used to collaborate on. When we get to our CAD folder, we are displayed with a number of CAD drawings. Let's see how we share these to a project. When we add to a project, we choose the project and the folder where we want the content housed. This can help us control what the supplier sees and has access to, which I'll show next. First, we'll choose our project, then the folder. Then we have collection options where we can collect related parts, drawings, CAD, documents, dependents, as well as the choice to check the object out to make edits or just share them as a view only to the project. Now let's go back to the project and show how we can do a level of access controls. Within the project folder, we can select any number of folders or windshield objects and do ad hoc access controls to them. In this case, we show the supplier role losing read and download access rights to the selected folders. Winchell supports several layers of control and security to support your business specification. This particular one is a look into how we may choose to quickly modify permissions on an ad hoc basis. Lastly, let's head over to our project plan where we can integrate the supplier and give them the ability to communicate the progress of their work and find the necessary data needed to accomplish their tasks. Similarly to the project details page, we can examine plan specifics and get more insight into the plan. You can have one-to-many plans within the project where you can break down the work into more manageable pieces that are executed individually or have parent-child relationships. Now we're within a project plan where you can see plan executables. Project managers can assign tasks to team members and tie deliverables right to the task. This allows you to execute plans and establish a repeatable model with traceable activities and tasks. Lastly, I want to highlight the Gantt chart, where project managers can come in and have a clear line of sight on the overall plan and be able to proactively see the status of the supplier work and adjust to avoid missed deadlines and overheads. That was a quick look into Winchell projects, highlighting just some of the capabilities that allow you to effectively bring in external teams to share and collaborate on data.